Hey, welcome back. So let's populate with actual categories here. So I'm going to come to my uh, PHP ad, my admin and look in my database for categories. Let's see what we have in this table. So we have, um, why is this so huge? Is there a way to move it? I'm surprised this has no way of reduction at all. Anyway, no big deal. <clears throat> so we have uh, a category here and then we have a parent. So if it has a parent here, then it's a subcategory. If it's disabled, then we can't see it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let me enable this one though, because I want to be able to Okay, one row affected, good. Now I have changed that to enable it. Let me just enable all of them for the sake of the tutorial. Anyway, this one is out, but at least we have these that are kids, okay? So now I want a way to just read my categories. And then if they have uh, parents there, I should uh, not show them. If they have parents, I should not show them on that lead. And let's come to our sidebar here because this is where all the action will take place on the sidebar. So now what I want to do is go to the controller so I can actually read uh, some of these categories. But let's go to the models first and look at the categories class. So let's see if there's a function here to get what we need. Oh, that's the countries, categories. So we create a category, edit, delete, get all categories. So it's actually there. Get one, it's there. Okay, so great. So let's use the get all categories here. So I'm going to go to my controllers now. And I'm looking for, let's try the home.php page. So all I want to do is add my categories to this row. So here, what I will do is look for a class that was already created. So we have the user class, image class, and what other classes do we have? Well, we don't have a categories class, do we? No, we do not. So I'm just going to initialize it. I'll come here, copy the user thingy. And then I'll be right here and say something like uh, get all categories. So I'll get my categories class. I'll change user for category. Okay. Let me use the capital there. Or is it? It's a small letter anyway. Okay, so category there. And I'm going to say cuts. I'll just shortcut it. Categories is equal to category get all so that is going to get all the categories and i might as well uh, put them directly in the data variable so i can do that by simply putting it there categories like so so data categories is equal to categories get all okay so that's about it so we will have our categories there. And we can do the same thing on the, uh, what's the other one, shop.php. So same thing here, put them there, done. Okay, so let's refresh our page to make sure we have no errors, none whatsoever. So now let's come here and populate the side so I'm going to go to my home.php, uh, no, the view. So let's go to the, it's the slider actually, sidebar ink right here. So this is going to be inside the categories, um, the categories, wait a minute, 
category. Uh -huh. So between this, that, and that, so here is where the loop should reside. So here I'm just going to say if is set. Now I need my PHP tags here, of course. So I'm going to say if is set uh, categories. Uh -huh. And is array. So if it's both set and is an array, let's close that tag. And then let's come down here. Wait a minute. Div, 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 div. Okay, so we're looping through here. The if statement should end here. And if. Uh -huh. Then I will also need an end for each here because I'll put it for each at the top there. Okay. So same thing here. I will duplicate that. And instead of if, I'll have for each. And the for each is going to be on the categories. And I'll say category as. I'll just shortcut it to cat. That's where the, that way there's less things to type. Move those in, that in as well. Move the content inner even more. Okay. Great. So let's see what we've got now. So we should have a loop of these things. Mm -hmm. So we have repeated, repeated, repeated. Very nice. So now what I want to check for is if one of these has a parent. So if it's got a parent, then I should not show it. Okay. So here what I will do is let me just lower the tag here and tell it to say if cat uh, parent is greater than zero. What do I want to do? I want to continue. Continue means it should skip everything else down here and just continue looping and not go any further than this. Okay. So let's try that. Refresh. Let's see now, there's less items, yes, but still not enough. So what are we going to do? Now, the reason we have two of those items is because we are using this as well. So let's put an if statement here as well. Let me come down here. I'm just going to say if. Close that. So here I'm going to say if uh, okay, so we've already done this here. Cat parent. Okay, okay, okay. That's okay. So all I need to do is skip this part here because all these have no All these have no parents here so I'm trying to decide here which of these to actually show so let me just uh, limit this for now let me remove move that and put it here that way we only see this and then here I will do this PHP I will put an equal sign and say cat um, Category. Refresh. Okay, 
so at least now we have cars bags meat clothes sodas drinking and do that so the only thing remaining now is to figure out how to add that plus sign when this has uh, children in it okay so what happens here is that this part over here is the plus sign here i don't want to show the plus sign if there are no children in this thing so maybe let me remove this for a second Oop, sorry let's move it up there again and let's just use this one here but then we're going to omit uh, this right here where is the plus sign this is the plus sign here okay let me see if there's a difference when I swap these out, like so. Okay, so there's no difference and that is all good. So I'm going to hide this for a minute. This is what I will hide, this lower part, so that I have this instead. Okay, but then I will copy this, put it here. Let's see what we have. Okay, there we go. But each one of them now has a plus sign there, which should only be uh, working because uh, we actually have some children down here. Oops. Okay, so in order for it to know which of these it should activate, there's the ID of sportswear here. And then there's another ID right there, which is the href, so that when we click, it actually goes to the right section. So what we will do is we'll use the category name itself. So I'm going to copy that and put it right here. Don't, for, don't erase the hash part. And same thing here. Because if you had noticed here, no matter which of these I click, it's still opening the one on top there, which is not good it has to open the correct one. So let's refresh now and let's see if it does just that. Okay, so now as you can see, it actually opens the correct one. All right, pretty good. Okie dokie. So now the next step is to add the children if there are any here. So what I will do is go through this same loop again for each categories and check if there are any that are part of this category. So this category has an ID. So let me go back here for a second. This one has an ID here, but then if there's a parent here, which is greater than zero, we're going to check to see if the ID here matches this one, then we will show them. So for example, if we are looping through and then we find these two that have a parent that's greater than zero, and then we're going to check if they're matching the current ID that we have, and then we'll show them. If not, we ignore. So let me come here. Mm -hmm. So the dilemma that I have is I want to remove the plus sign if there are no children here, but the children are down here. So we will only know if they exist while we are here but the plus sign would have already been shown there. Okay, so that is the tragedy we are having here. So there's a little trick we can do here. And let me, um, what we can do is to check, first of all, if any of them do have a uh, If any of them do have a, a parent that is equal to my ID here, okay? So what I will do is, let me get, uh, let me do this. Uh, parents, I'm going to say parents is equal to, okay? Now, this is a bit of a problem because we're beginning to do some logic in here which is not supposed to happen. But let's put the logic here, then we can see how we can refactor it to take it back to the controller if possible. So here I'm just going to say parents 
is equal to and I will say uh, array column I just want to get one of these items so I'm going to, to say categories and the column that I want is the parent column so all I need to check is for in array right let me copy that so here when I come to this point before I show this I want to check if my item is in the array so I'm just going to do a PHP there and say if in array okay so what is the needle we are looking for we are looking for the category ID and if we can actually find it in parents like so okay so if this is true then let's show this otherwise let's um, end if here so let's see if that is going to work out so refresh okay so as you can see now only one has remained with a plus sign the rest have given up so that's because only number five which is clothes has some children which is true here and that is actually good so here once we do this then it means we can do this here as well so I'll put it here the same if statement unfortunately we have to do it twice because of the structure of this thing like that okay so if it is true then we're going to add this to the loop and then let's loop through these guys so I'm just going to leave one there delete the others wait a minute anything special no okay so I'll delete the others and just do a loop so I'm going to loop the categories here copy and come back here paste that close the tag and end for each where are you copy that put it there okay Now I don't want to uh, to use cat again here, so I'm just going to say sub cat like that, okay? Then here I'll copy this and put sub cat here. After PHP tags, I'll just put equal sub cat category. Then close that. So instead of just looping through and showing everything i have to ask the question if the parent suits then i show it so loop through here and then do the end i'll double those and then this one is end if and this one is if so what are we searching for if subcat here um wait a minute wait a minute so if subcat parent is equal to this cat right here ID then we are good to go so let's see if that actually works so refresh let's click here we see shirts and hats so let's see if that's actually true hats and shirts okay so very nice now we have everything under control this is the same thing that we show on the home page here same thing clothes shirts hats okay very nice now the only thing is we have to make this actually do something not just be like this we have to make these actually search for what we want depending on the category right so let's do that in the next video